All right, on to the flop map. Flop map one, the descriptor upper map, which points at information down here, most notably the management engine VSCC table. So at FD bar plus EFC, that's hard coded always EFC, and it's not actually going to be 10 plus EFC here, it's just EFC. There is this register, flop map one. So how do we interpret that? Once again, bits 24 through 12. So this means DF0 is going to be where the data is. And how much data is it? Well, that's in the next field, the VSCC table length. So that is 2C D words, so a total of B0 bytes. And you can see that right there amidst all of the other Fs. So how do we interpret all of those bytes? Well, that's the management engine vendor specific component capabilities table. And so the first thing, JDIC ID zero. So that is just a sort of industry standard ID and you can see that it's broken up into a vendor ID, a device ID zero and a device ID one. Well, conveniently UEFI tool has already parsed that out for us and it's telling us that's a Winbond W25X16 chip. Then the next four bytes takes a bit of interpretation. So big long register. Let's look at the least significant four bits. All right, this is five in the least significant four bits. So that is zero, one, zero, one. And lowest, least significant two bits, zero, one, says that the upper block sector erase size is four kilobytes. Then the upper right granularity is one byte. And the upper right status required has to do with some little protocol. So if it's zero, there's no special protocol. And if there's one, then it says you have to write a zero to the spy flash status register prior to the write and erase to unlock the flash component, blah, blah, blah. We don't care, it's zero right here, so whatever. Now the only other point I'll make here is that it's going to refer to upper here and lower later on. This has to do with those flash partitions. So we saw the upper right status, then onto the reserved, that is zero, so that's fine. Then the upper erase opcode, so opcode 20 when sent to the, so hex 20 when sent to the spy flash chip for this particular chip, for this particular ID, would be the erase opcode. Then we have the lower block sector erase size, lower right granularity, lower right status required, etc. And once again, 0, 01, so this is 4 kilobyte erase, 0, uh, 01, so this is a 64 byte right granularity. I think I said that incorrectly on the previous one. And then zero saying it does not have any requirements to write to the status register prior to a write. Then again, this is four bits of zeros. So no lower write enable status, blah, 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 and reserved. And the lower erase opcode is 20. So then it's just gonna be the same thing over and over again. You've got another JDIC ID, which points at this in UEFI tool and then another VSCC entry. Now, if you scroll down through all these, you see that they all look mostly the same and the same thing over here too, they look mostly the same, but there is occasionally these instances of 15 instead of 05, right? So what's the actual difference there? Well, that has to do with those particular flash chip parts that have those particular IDs, if they have this as their vendor specific capabilities, then it is one, meaning that you have to write some zero to a fly, spy flash status register before you do a write and erase. So it's basically just saying there's some standard little dance that is done with certain spy flash chips and this is one of those chips. And boom, we are done looking through all of those data structures. That was so much fun, right? And I'm sure you went through all of that, you know, very rigorously as you were doing the lab. So what do we come away with from this? We learned that there's two components, one of which was eight megabytes, one of which was four megabytes. And we knew that the partition between those was on the eight megabyte boundary here. And so the flash descriptor is hex 1000 as usual. And then we have the gigabit from 1000 to four FF. Then we have the management engine from hex 5000 up to five and five Fs. And then the BIOS region starting at six megabytes going all the way up to 12 megabytes.